Any gameplay footage you see in today's video will either be from already released promotional material or from the first two hours of the original Persona 5 game. Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today's video will serve as an introduction to my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play series that releases on March 31st. My goal with today's video is to give you a bit of information and background about the game itself, as well as let you know a few things about the way that I will be playing the game that I hope will make the experience really fun and interesting for you, my viewers. So let's start with what this game is. Persona 5 Royal is a JRPG made by Atlas, the same people who make the Shin Megami Tensei series, the Etrian Odyssey series, as well as games like Catherine and Odin Sphere. Persona as a series actually began as a spin-off from the Shin Megami Tensei series, and shares many thematic and gameplay ties to its father franchise. It has since become a phenomenon of its own, and is one of the most popular franchises in Japan. It has had a decent following in North America, starting mostly with Persona 3 when it came out, and has received the widest acclaim yet with the Western audiences with the release of Persona 5 in 2016, where it also won the Best Role-Playing Game at the Game Awards. Let's go through some other categories. The Best Role-Playing Game. Congratulations to the team at Atlas for Persona 5. This new version of the game, Persona 5 Royal, is a reimagined and remixed version of the original Persona 5, with a slew of new content and game mechanics. In 2016, when I originally played Persona 5, I played through the entire game twice in a row, putting in roughly 185 hours, and platinuming the game on the PlayStation Network. As someone who never platinums games, this should tell you that this game was something special for me. My history with this series began when I played Persona 4 Golden on the PlayStation Vita. The series had been around for a long time before that, but it was definitely not on my radar and I had no idea what to expect when I played this game for the first time. I immediately fell in love with its characters and story and played it verdantly for the roughly 70 hours it took me to complete it with its true ending. I immediately needed more Persona content and found myself downloading Persona 3 Portable onto my Vita. Needless to say, I ate that up as well and enjoyed every second of my playthrough. Between playing these two games, this series immediately became one of my favorite franchises of all time, ranking in the same tier in my mind as Final Fantasy, Fire Emblem, and The Legend of Zelda. So, when Persona 5 released and improved on every single part of the games that came before, I couldn't have been more happy. And now here I am again, thrilled that they are releasing a new updated version of this game. There are a number of changes that have been made to this version of the game. The biggest and most important one is probably that they have added a whole new semester to the game's runtime. For those of you who don't know or who aren't familiar with this series, this game runs on a calendar where you play out roughly a year of a high schooler's life, going between the dungeon crawling portions of the game and the daily social life portions of the game. During the social part of the game, you will get to know characters referred to as confidants. Each of these confidants have their own stories and problems that you will help them deal with. In turn, they will help to make you stronger. It's a really addictive and effective system that is entirely unique but also share some qualities you might find similar to systems you have seen in other games, like supports in the Fire Emblem series, for example. This new version of the game also adds new interactions with brand new characters that were never in the original, including a new party member. Because of the structure of the game, the changes that have been made to this version will drastically change the game as a whole throughout its runtime. And while my playthrough can't be completely blind because I know many of the larger story beats, there will still be plenty new for me to experience with you as we go through this game together. So, let's talk a little bit about what I plan on doing with my playthrough then. First off, I'll just say it now, I'm going to be playing the game on hard. We're going to be going for a nice, decent challenge with this one. We will also be playing this game on the PlayStation 4 Pro in 4K resolution. I recently got a 4K capture card and will be able to take full advantage of the beautiful enhancements that the Pro can provide. This game is going to look beautiful, trust me. The other thing I want you to know is that I will be attempting to do a run where I get maxed out social stats as well as completely maxed out confidant rankings with every character. I really hope that I've made clear my passion and love for the series. I also really hope that my audience comes out to watch this game, and I also hope that this playthrough will bring new people to my channel. If you have enjoyed any of my content so far, please like and subscribe. I am still in the early stages of growing my channel, and we are getting oh so close to my first 1,000 subscribers. I only need a little over 100 more to get there, so thank you all so much for that, and hopefully that number will keep on going up. If there are any newcomers to the channel in this video, you may be interested in some of my other series on the channel. 
You can find links to them in the description below. Thank you all, and I look forward to sharing my Persona 5 Royal gameplay with you all very, very soon.